Hello everyone and welcome back. And this will be your general weekly reading for the sign of Libra for the week of August 25th. And a very special thank you goes out to everyone who has been subscribing to my channel and getting it noticed and sharing with others. Thank you very much for doing that. And for all the thumbs up on all the videos that you've watched and the lovely comments. Thank you. It is so appreciated. All right. And your first card out. The King of Cups. So finally, an emotional balance. Feeling that you've accomplished things. You're feeling in control of your situation, what it is that you want to bring into your life what's going on with your life. You're just having a more enjoyable week. You know, you've taken the leadership in different roles. You're empathetic to others, and you always are. That's just natural for yourself. You're moving forward. You're understanding what it is that you have in your life. And everything just seems to be more sympathetic, you know. You're in control. Your relationships are going well. If there's been a problem in anything, in any kind of relationships, you're healing and mending that, which in turn makes you feel good on the inside. And the Ten of Pentacles. So there's wealth here, financial security, family, dynamics. This could be an inheritance for some of you. This is my fur baby. Her name is Barbel. She's a newest addition to my family. And yeah, do you guys have a pet? And what is it? Leave it in the comments. Just curiosity. She's a rescue. She's mine. Anyhow, back to your reading. She'll skid across the screen because she likes to spend time with us. So you have financial security. There's an inheritance coming in, money, something that you're getting a hold of and you're going to make sure it's going to last. You know, like a long-term success plan. You know, you're talking to people, you're making your finances more secure because you don't want stress and worry in the future and you're taking care of business. And the Six of Cups. Yeah, a little bit of nostalgia, you know, looking back at your childhood. Maybe you ran into somebody or heard about something, and it just sort of gives you that smile on your face of completion and know where you're at and know where you came from because that makes you who you are. And the Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, good luck, karma. New cycle, a new beginning. It's a turning point that is going to change so many things in your life and you have faith in it. You know, it's going to turn many things in your life almost upside down in a good way. You know, it's going to open up that career that you want. You're finally getting that career break, which is going to give you a higher rate of pay, which is going to help you, you know, move up higher and feel better. This could be, like I said, a lottery win coming in for some of you so that is going to help you to pay off your bills, set yourself up. You know, you're going to be looking into getting an advisor, making sure that this money is sticking around and move you into the future. You know, wow. And maybe you've tried different things before, but once you try it again this time, it's going to stick and take root and grow and go. So what a way to start the week. Look at that. Oof, love it. You're inspired. You're feeling good about life. You know, you're taking care of your health. You're starting to understand what it is that you want in your life. Like I said, maybe this is something that you've tried over and over again and it never quite got the momentum you had hoped for. Well, the momentum's kicked in. So it helps you to feel inspired to get moving again and boy you're shining in such a way and your stuff is going to take off grow and go the way that you want so your 
feeling successful with your new rebirth in life. And the Two of Cups. So there's sympatical. You know, this is a partnership, a, a mutual attraction, somebody that you feel compatible with. Now, this could be your partner in marriage. It's a connection that rekindles your spirit, your happiness, your survival for a long life. You know, this could be a friend that you just can talk about for hours. You haven't seen them for a long time, so when you get together, it's like you were never apart. You just seem to be fitting into one another. You understand what the other one needs instinctively. And the Queen of Cups, perfect, you know. This is friendships, romance, a feeling emotionally fulfilled. And your relationships are more flowing this week. They're taking off in a good way. And you're in charge of that. You know that, you know, with all the wisdom that you have and the knowledge, once you stick to your guns and your decision, it will just help everything around you. So you're really following your intuitions this week because you know it's helping you in your future. And the Knight of Cups, so here it comes. You know, this could be Mr. Romantic or Mrs. Romantic. But something in your life is somebody's coming in to lend you that higher up. Help you to open up. Now, this Prince Charming is going to give you an understanding and an opportunity to change things in your life. And he's very charming about it. But you're wise enough to know what's on offer. And whether you should or shouldn't move on this new path. And this is travel for many of you. And it'll be by boat. Something that you want to do. You know, some places you want to see. And you're getting that opportunity now. And the Ten of Cups. Yeah, this is such a lovely, blessed card for you because your relationships are in harmony. You're feeling happy on the inside, which makes your demeanor on the outside just glow. So this is your card of connection, commitment, you know, happy life, happy home. You know, everything in your life is just flowing the way you want it. And the Nine of Cups, a wish fulfillment. Oh, I really like that one. You know, this could have been a wish to have more money in your life. And once you get it, it helps you to move forward, put your mind at ease, and you start to feel more um, emotionally satisfied. You have a lust for things, nice things. But you're learning that sometimes... You just have to give yourself that two seconds before you commit to something. So, wow. And the three of hearts, of swords, sorry. Yeah, there's been a heartbreak. Something has shifted in your life. You know, there could have been infidelity here. There could have been uh, divorces. Some sort of loss that caused you to crumble. You know, emotionally, for a while it was a loss, but it's not anymore. You're understanding that you need to let things in your life go. Take the swords out because you want to open back up to love and receiving. And you know the only way to do that is to accept things as they're going. And the Knight of Swords. Yeah, you are determined to move forward. This is... a uh, a quick, successful trip for many of you. Usually it's by air, but not necessarily. You know, and it's unexpected. Or this could be in a relationship as a friendship. You know, whatever it happens to be for you moving forward. And it's starting to cool down. You're understanding that, nah, you know, it's not quite who, what, and where I wanted. And you're learning to move away from it. You know, this is your flash of insight to clear the air. Get rid of things that don't fit and, and work with you anymore. 
And there you are. You're defending your choices. You know, what you're passionate about. You're maintaining control over the situations in your life, the choices that you've made, and you're standing your ground. You're maintaining control because you know that's what you need. All right, I'm going to shuffle and deal you an angel oracle card, but your cards are all about moving forward. You know, the sun is shining on you in such a beautiful way. Things are starting to open up to you. There's money on the horizon and a wish fulfillment. All right. I am leading you towards the answers to your prayer. Please listen and follow the steps I am communicating through your intuition, thoughts, and dreams. And on that note, I will say goodbye for now. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, and I will talk to you again next week. Bye for now.